Welcome to One Under Pack Apps. I'm your host, Adon. And in today's, I want to talk about a really good topic. And it's a simple one. How to balance your work to life ratio. You know, how to be a family man. How to keep your work, life, and family separate. How to be a loving father, a loving, a loving husband, a good friend, a good co-worker. And all those beautiful things. For law enforcement, it's uh, kind of hard, pretty much, to balance the life and, you know, to be a, love, a loving husband, loving father, a good friend, a good co-worker, because it's a lot with a lot. And I say this because there's a lot to, you know, think about when it comes to people and work or job and specifically talking about the people who you know pretty much spend their life or more so the time as a law enforcement and it's 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 hard it's hard in a way because Um, based on what we know um, or based on what people say, uh, law enforcement schedule work and shift are kind of hard, are very difficult. Some people do what is called the uh, midnight shift. Some people do the day shift. Other people do the afternoon shift. But at the same time, those... um shift are very um variable they change constantly change and um that makes things kind of hard but there's always a way to you know fulfills those needs when it comes to family and it all depends on you it all depends on you because you're the one who pretty much have to um separate Uh, your work, your job with the family. You always have to prioritize, you know, have as priority your family. The same way you perform, the, the same way you do what you do at work, the same, the same way you um, are responsible to go to work every day, the same way that you do what you do at work is the same way that you're supposed to be responsible and become Or be a loving husband, a loving father, a loving friend, a loving son, and so on. And the thing is that you need to learn how to separate, you know, work from your family. You need to learn how to uh, separate work from your life. Uh, the fact that you have a title or a position doesn't mean that that title or that position are the things that are, that are going to identify you. Um, before the job, before the work, or before the position or the title that you carry, or that you have, before all that stuff, you had a life. And those are the things that you have to think about and the things that you have to take in consideration when it comes to separate your job, your work, with your family. If you're a single person, you know, that you don't have a wife, that you don't have a girlfriend, you're not, you don't have a, fi a fiance, that you don't have uh, kids, it's fine. If you want to, you know, have that type of life, that it's all about your job, it's fine. If you feel that, you know, that's what motivates you to keep going, that push you to, you know, survive out there, to do the things that you do, to be the best of you, to be the best that you could be. If those, you know, if, if you are on that scale, then it's fine. But when it comes for those who, you know, are responsible, not only for themselves, if not for others, when it comes to family, those that have a, a wife, those that have uh, kids, those that have um, a fiance, Uh, and it goes, you know, both ways. 
because I'm not talking about just on the male side, but also the female side. If you that girl, if you that woman that um you know you have a husband, you have kids, and you have other you know um significant others uh that are waiting for you that you know that depends on you, then you need to separate or you need to have some sort of balance when it comes to that. There's always time for everything. And even the Bible stated like this, you know, there's always time for everything. But one of the things that have to be your priority is supposed to be your family. It's supposed to be those who are waiting for you each and every day. No matter how long you take, no matter how far you are, and no matter how how hard it is out there when it comes to your job, whether you're doing, whether you are in the law enforcement field or any other type of job. So for a lot of people, it's it's hard in a way because not because of the job per se, whatever type of job they do, even if it's uh, in the law enforcement field, but because they don't know or they haven't been able to manage or to separate their job with their family. You know, the same way you perform, the same way, the, the, with, with the same attitude, the same energy, the same way you trying to, you know, do everything the best way you can when it comes to work. That's the, that's the, same, <clears throat> that's the same way that you're supposed to have time for your family, have time for your kids, for your wife, for your husband, for your fiance, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is. And this is one of the things that you have to put into perspective, put into your 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 as a main goal each and every day. Because sometimes, uh, depending on the job that the person has, um, it's good, it could be good for the money, it could be good for the stability, for the finance and stuff like that. But at the same time, there's a lot of people with really good job, with a really good salary, uh, you know, making like really good amount of money to fulfill any type of needs when it comes to, you know, finance. But at the same time, they do not have a family. You know, everybody is, is, is on their own. Everybody's by the way, you know, everybody is on their own way. Everybody's doing whatever they please. And it's due because the person or the head of the family that is supposed to be taking care of the family the same way they do at work is not working or is not doing anything when it comes to that type of responsibility. And it doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how much money you have. But if you have a family and it's, you know, all over the place, the money would never fix that because you haven't been able to take the time to take the opportunity to be responsible when it comes to fulfill that gap. So it's very important to understand that even though you do what you do, even though you have a job or, or even though you got to go to work every day, you're supposed to go back, come back home and try to spend some sort of time with your family, especially if you have little ones. Because at the end of the day, those are the ones that pretty much get really affected by you not being able to balance work and family. Happy, happy wife, happy husband, happy kids, parents, but it all depends on the person who is supposed to be the head of the house. That's why it's very important to understand and, and, and to take in consideration the time for your family, the time for your loved one, the time for your kids, the time for your sister, brothers, for your parents, if we could say that, and everything else. Always, it's good to have, out of the 24 hours on a day, it's always good to have at least one hour specifically for your family. Because when you have a family that you get to spend time with them, it's a happy family and it all shows on you wherever you go, whether you are work, whether you're on the street, whether you are on your own business and so on and so far. 
So try to have a balance between you, work, and your family because that is very important. And my recommendation is to, for those who really are busy out there when it comes to work or business, job, or whatever it is, try to write down, you know, a uh, to-do list. And in that to-do list, always try to include your family and your loved one. So thank you for listening. Thank you for stay tuned. Stay tuned for more One Under.